and 9.3 number three through 9.3 number six, we're supposed to pick uh, variables and what the wording, what they mean, uh, and then the uh, null alternative hypothesis and then the errors. So I have uh, the error table that we used in the last section here and also uh, variable uh, letters here. So this one, it's believed that 11% of all Americans are left-handed. So we know quite a bit of information right now. Uh, this is a proportion right here. And call it needs to know the number of left-handed desks placed in a large uh, lecture hall constructed on campus. Random sample of 260. Uh, whether or not a student was left-handed was recorded for each student. So they took a random sample. Uh, and they want to know if this random sample uh, shows the college has a higher percentage of left-handers. So that's the uh, alternative right there, alternative hypothesis. So let's go ahead and symbol for random variable. All right, we have a proportion here. So when it's an average or a mean, you're gonna use X, uh, X bar, but here we have, here we have P and P hat. Those are our two choices. P hat is for the sample, and that's the uh, random variable is the sample here. The parameter is the same, except it's for the entire population, and that's regular P. All right, the wording for the random variable. So here's the random variable, and it's the, right here, random sample of 260 students, whether or not they're left-handed. So this random variable, it's gonna be the percentage. So right away, uh, it's only the first two that are possibilities. Now it's the percentage of 260 randomly selected students that are left-handed. So down here, the parameter is for the population. It's not all humans, but it's the students at the college. So this is the percentage of students at the college that are left-handed. So again, the random variable and the parameter are similar, it's just whether it's for the sample or for the population. Now we're ready for alternative and null hypothesis. So 11% uh, right here is the initial, it's the uh, starting value and it's equal. And they want to know if there's evidence to show this college has a higher percentage of left-handers. So that's the alternative is a higher percentage. So I'm gonna go with the alternative first. And these are claims on the proportion of students, not the ones in the sample, which would be P hat, but proportion of students at the college. So these are both regular P here. And I said we're gonna do alternative first. So we wanna know if the students are more than 11%. It doesn't say if I should do percentage or numbers. We'll find out very soon. So the opposite, you could go with equal or you could go with less than or equal in this question. So I'll just go with equal here. So let's go ahead and submit this and see how we're doing. So it looks like it took uh, 0.11. I'm curious if it'll take percentage. It'll take percentage too, so whatever you want. All right, hopefully that made sense for you there. Uh, if we're talking about means, then this, instead of being P, uh, I believe that's X hat for a mean, and then this I believe would be mu, but you'll find that out soon. All right, what types of errors could we see? All right, a type one error. So here we have type one error. All right, so type one error, we're rejecting age zero, but it's actually true. So that's type one error. Oh, wow. Okay, so uh, we're rejecting. So right away, it's one of the first seven choices. And I need to make this smaller so I can read it. So I'm using control and scrolling. I need to still make it smaller. All right, 
Now we can read it. All right. All right, so rejecting age zero. So rejecting the percentage of all students from the college that are left-handed is 11. So all the first four are good so far. So rejecting the percentage of all students from the college is left-handed when the percentage, so we rejected it, but it actually was true. So we rejected that it was 11, but it actually is 11. So we rejected the percentage of the students in the college that are left-handed being 11 when the percentage really is 11. So that's the error we would make there. Type two error. So type two error, age zero is false. So again, we have age zero up here. So it, the proportion is 11%. Um, we did not reject it right there. So we, we accepted uh, age zero, but age zero is false. So we failed to reject. So we're one of the first four. We failed to reject when the percentage is now here. The first one would not be an error. We failed to reject that it was 11 when it really was 11. That's that would be not an error. All right, failed to reject. All right, so. We have to look at the alternative now. So it's type two error. Uh, we did not reject H zero, but H zero was false. All right, so is it we failed to reject it was 11, but is the percentage really lower, higher, or different? Um, and let's see, it'd be the alternative said it was greater than, so really higher. So we failed to reject 11 when the percentage was really higher than that. Here we go. Okay, to me, these errors always make my brain hurt a bit, as you heard me struggle with that one right there. Um, and just remember, they always relate back to H0 and HA. And if you have this table right here, you could think about, okay, if we have a type two error, what's happening? These two things are happening. Uh, H0 is false and we failed to reject it. 